good morning and welcome back. This is my first real video in a really long time. So, hi, happy to see you. I'm getting ready for class right now and I genuinely think this is the first time in two weeks at least that I fixed my hair and makeup for class because literally last week I wore the same outfit three days in a row not even kidding same shorts same sweatshirt three days in a row and yesterday I went to class with my hair soaking wet like straight out of the shower soaking wet I really have not been putting in the effort Honestly, at this point, we're just surviving. We're at that point with volleyball season in school. But today I was determined to get up and put on some makeup. So that's what we're doing. Also, I'm sure you can tell that my chin is breaking out so bad. Literally nowhere else on my face. The rest of my face is clear as can be. But my chin is breaking out like so bad. It's really ugly, but you know what are you gonna do? That's life. But anyways, I'm just swim concealer in all of the right places. And I'm hoping that will make this like redness on my chin go away. Because I know like the bumps are still gonna be there. But like if it just wasn't red, like it would look so much better. And that's the goal here. It's already so much better. Yeah. I did not have class till 10.50 today. It's 8.40. But, funny story. Um, despite the fact that we are a Baptist school, we have a dance class. It's called Rhythmic Movement. And one of my friends was in it, and basically she did not have anyone that did not have a 925 today to be her dance partner for class, so somehow I got roped into it. So at 925, I'm going to two-step. A little bit for me. It's like a weird two-step. It's not like a normal two-step, but it was really easy. She told me, like five minutes in our living room. So, yeah. I'm really working on these undergrad bags because I'm really tired. I'm like a go to bed at 10.30ish type girl. And last night I don't think I was asleep until I like two, which is really late for me. I mean, I was there till 10 and I didn't even stay after, so, but, I still didn't go to bed early, so it really didn't make a difference. I have about 18 minutes, so I need to go eat breakfast in my cafe. I'm starving. Like, do y'all have those days where you just wake up starving? Because that was me today. I'm just starving for literally no reason. But anyways. If you're curious as to why you can hear my shower running, um, oh, I'm out of setting spray. That makes me so mad. Anyways, um, I got off topic. If you're curious as to why you can hear my shower running, it's because my jeans that I want to wear are all wrinkly, so it's life hack. You can find my mascara. Don't this in here. Lash curler was in here, but no mascara. That's dumb. Maybe my volleyball bag. My volleyball bag's in the gym, so my mascara. No setting spray or mascara. That's not good. All my friends think I'm a psycho for this. I have an eyelash pointing down out here. So I'm just gonna grab it and pull it out. But the other day I did find someone who also did that. They were like, yeah, I did that too. And I don't even remember who. 
but it very much reassured me to know that I'm not the only psychopath. So I have green mascara and purple mascara. Maybe I'll run to Caroline and see if I can borrow her mascara down the hall. Because I really do want to put on mascara. Okay. I straightened my hair yesterday, but we just need to touch up the front. I should probably brush it. It's like really soft on like two day hair. I love it. Well, I straightened my hair. I'll give you a rundown of my day. So, we're gonna go get breakfast in the calf, and then we're gonna go to Anna's dance class, and then we're gonna go to my 1050, which is Bible. Um, Old Testament, no, Life of Christ. And then, I'll eat lunch in the cafe after bed. And then I have my one-on-one -on -one with my coach at 12.30, so I'll go to that. And then, I'm gonna, I need to do laundry. And today's going to be the day I clean my room because we're leaving tomorrow for volleyball with clean room checks. And on top of that, I just want to come home to a clean room. So I'm going to clean and do laundry because I need it for the trip. And I'll have a grocery pickup order because I have nothing to eat in my dorm. And I realized that last night when I was looking for snacks, so I ordered a bunch of groceries uh, for a Walmart pickup. So we're going to do that, and then I have practice at 4, 4 to 6, but our coach was sick yesterday, so he's healthy, I guess, we'll practice, I don't really know, so, but anyways, practice 4 to 6, probably eat dinner in the calf, because it don't close till 6.30, I eat in the calf a lot, saves money, as dumb as it sounds, it saves me having to make a decision on what to eat. Like, I feel like it's a chore to have to decide what to eat every day. So, saves that. And, yeah, it's free, like I said. So, it's usually pretty good. Most people will hate their calf. I honestly don't hate those. I actually really like their breakfast. But the rest of the meals can be good and can suck. It just depends. Mm -hmm. This is the curse of having naturally curly hair. I have to go there and get these baby pieces to straighten it like a thousand times. I need to check the weather. It's been that weather where it's like fall in the morning, summer from like 12 to 4, and then fall again. So it's so hard to get dressed. But also, our classrooms are always ice cold. Well, not always. Sometimes, like in the in the summer, they would be really hot. But like now, they're ice cold. So I can dress like it's fall and be okay. Which is what I'm gonna do today. I have jeans and a top picked out that give fall. Okay. Hair is good. I'm gonna text Carol and see if I can come get her mascara. Okay, so I got dressed. Um, I texted Carol, but I said her snap apps that she was like on it five hours ago, which means she was up really late. So I'm not gonna about, like be up in there and wake her up. Usually I would, usually I'd just walk right in, but I don't wanna wake her up if she was up late, but let me give you a fit check. This is such like a cutesy little like fall vibe, almost like early 2000s with the top I feel like. But anyways, it's just like a little white top and then my favorite jeans of all time, obviously. And then I'm about to on boots for this two step. But I'm gonna bring my Converse and change into them after a little fancy dance. Actually, I may put on my Converse and bring my boots. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just to make sure my boots fit under these jeans because they like come up to here. They're very high, so they fit. You know what, I'm just gonna leave them on for now. I'll just bring my Converse. It's time to go and 
Caroline just texted me back, but I just decided I'm just gonna walk to the gym for breakfast and um, grab my mascara and why, why else was I gonna do the gym crap? I forgot. Um, there was another reason. Oh, throw my boots in there because I put my Converse on. I, the boots are loud. I really don't even think I need boots. Like, I'm not the one getting very good, you know? I'm just there for like, more sport. I'm in the locker room. Search. Blah. Search. Just finished my makeup on the floor of the locker room, so love that. Woo! Just made my He didn't just buy setting spray. That would be ridiculous. Going into a store and just buying what you came for? It's the stupidest thing I ever did here. Anyways, hold on. When we are comfortably on the road and at a stop sign, I will show you the items. Also, my little holder thing in my car is kind of broken, so you could go flying at any minute. Like, just be prepared. Don't, like get jump scared because I'm telling you there's a good chance you're about to go flying somewhere also I found a $5 Starbucks gift card in my car so we're going to get Starbucks okay where's stop sign I can show you her stop light I got a new powder because I actually have like used I've never used a whole powder in my life like never I either don't stay the same color or I don't like the same powder for that long and also, I'm like almost out, I'm not quite out, but I want one in my purse and one in my makeup bag because I just feel like it's just good to have powder. And I tried a new one. I'm usually a, why is my air not cool? Oh, there we go. It's like my air's on full blast, but it's not cold. It wasn't turned all the way down. I usually am a Maybelline Fit Me Girl, but this is Elf. I love Elf, so I thought I'd give it a try. Good, another stoplight. I can get another item out to show you. I got this CoverGirl lip balm because my e.l.f. one that I use is getting crusty. Need a new one. That's probably gross to admit, but honestly, I just, we're all girls here. We all use our makeup for much longer than we should. Let's just admit it. Why is it still not cold air? I'm trying to have, oh, there we go. Good lord. Okay, I hope this is a good color. Ooh, very good color. I will say I did have the like Milani setting spray, which was a lot more expensive. I bought it when I went to the Taylor Swift concert because I was like, I need a good setting spray. And then I, I just finished it and oh, it was so good. But like I said, I bought it for the Taylor Swift concert. So it only lasted me like three months. And I just think that's crazy. So I got this one and I got a baby one so I could keep it in my purse. And then last thing I got is tweezers because I'm constantly, like, when I get in the car, seeing, like, a little eyelash out of place or a little eyebrow out of place and wanting tweezers, and I only have them in my makeup bag, and these were only four bucks, so I was like, okay, period, we're gonna get some tweezers and keep them in my car. Oh, the car beside me just ran a red light. I forgot Sheridan drove my car. I couldn't see out of my mirrors. Sheridan drove my car last night, and, man, I was, like, tight to that seat. Okay. Guys, tell me if the light turns green. Just kidding, obviously. Well, I get why these are four dollars. They suck. Oh well, no 
it's better than nothing. Okay. Those are going to be placed in the car. Now let's use setting spray since I didn't get to this morning. Oh, it's going to spray bad the first time. Oh, it did. Okay, and then we will just let the AC dry it. Ooh, that's good lighting. Okay. They should be more embarrassed. There are two teenage boys on Starbucks. You can't see it on camera. I can see it. I know it's there. Let's try many lips. Oh, I absolutely love that. Oh my gosh. That is such a nice color. That was only six bucks too. such a good color and it's like not a lipstick it's like a lip balm period go back up there good morning how are you hi i'm good can i get a venti chai tea latte with three pumps of pumpkin a venti chai latte with three pumps of pumpkin do you want this hot or iced ice please what else for you? That's it. 725. I'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Five dollar gift card. And I got a random two bucks in here. So we Gucci. Hold on. I want to show you all this. Cover girl. Wait. Yeah. Clean, fresh. That's the color it's in. Focus, 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 focus. Anyway, I cherry ish you. I did not even bring my backpack for class, y'all. It's Bible, and I don't really need a computer or anything, so it's fine. But it's just hilarious to me that I'm going to class with like just my purse. Um. Also, guys, that's a chemistry test yesterday, and it was. Chapters one through seven, it's ridiculous. And I got my grade back this morning. Well, I got it back last night and it said I made an 89. And I was happy with an 89. Like on a like high level class, an 89 on a test is not bad. But, but I am a perfectionist. And in my head, I was like, ah, I just really don't feel like I deserved an 89. Like I really felt like I did better than an 89. And then this morning I wake up and it was changed to a 93. And I feel so much better about a 93. I'm like, okay, I feel like I deserved a 93. So I'm very happy about that. I'm very, very happy. Also, I'm like big time cheesing because I love the way like my smile looks when I have lipstick on and I haven't worn like any makeup period, but like really like no lip color in forever. So I'm like, my hair has gotten so light, y'all. It's so light. Like it's actually like light red, but I'm about to dye it dark as soon as I get a chance to go home. I haven't been home in two weeks okay i moved in august 1st and i've been home once and it's almost the end of september and i can't go home until the beginning of november like that's so bad
I'm back from class. And so I went to my 1050 and then I went to my one-on-one -on -one with coach. So I'm done until practice, let's go. I have a pickup at one, Walmart pickup. So we have about 45 minutes. I'm gonna need that in a minute to get my room into good shape and to get my laundry. So the first thing we're gonna do is gather up all the dirty clothes and go start my laundry. I just got locked out of the dorms because I forgot my ID right here on my counter. But it's okay because some very nice girls that helped me out and walked with me to my floor and let me in. They were OGs for that. But anyways, okay. Got about 10 minutes till I need to move my laundry over. So I'm going to try to not necessarily clean yet, but straight. I got stuff everywhere. So once I take care of that, I might be able to actually, you know, clean. Also, I totally stripped my bed and washed all of it, which is amazing because we love clean bedding. because that's a guy chore. I'm a girl, I should not be taking the trash out. Something that I have just really, really learned this semester is that there is a difference between being happy and having joy. This morning, I found out I got a 93 on my chemistry test and I was happy. Yesterday, I got Chick-fil-A for lunch and I was happy. A few weeks ago, I went with my friends to the fair, we took pictures. I was happy. The difference is that like happiness has to be like cause. Like I need it need a, like an event to make me happy. I need like a an action, something that happened to make me happy. And I think that I have always lived my life just waiting for that happiness. And I really genuinely feel now that I have joy. And it's so different because it's like, I don't need a good thing to happen to make me feel good. Like I just feel good. I just feel happy all the time, but it's not happiness, it's joy. And like, that's such a difference. And man, like it is so nice. Like it is so nice to just not be like constantly at war with your brain, just feel happy. and genuinely 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 like there's a secret formula <laughs> and that sounds so dumb but it's just being right with christ it's just having a relationship with god and it's just really nurturing that relationship because that was the difference between me last year and me this year me this year i am truly feel like i'm nurturing that relationship and i'm trying to i'm actively trying like every day to grow that relationship and man like i am just happy to be here like I'm just happy to be alive and it's just so different to me last year and it is like it's evident to the people around me like I have had people tell me that I just seem happier and like I just seem different or I just seem like just they can see it like people can see when you have Jesus inside like it glows on the outside and like the truth is that 
you can f try and fill that hole with anything, but it, it will never get filled until you put Christ in it. Like, it will not get filled. And right now, like, just realizing that, I'm realizing that I don't need something to make me happy. Like, I can just be happy and just be myself. And it's so amazing. And so that was my quick little interlude to tell you guys that. <laughs> Any college student who has ever had to carry groceries up to their dorm deserves like a metal or a cookie or something because it sucks. Look, I turned my hand red. Okay, grocery haul. I don't know why I love like grocery hauls. They're so fun and interesting. So here's mine. Gluten-free little sandwich bread. Tortillas to make wraps. Soup. I always keep soup stocked. You never know when you're just gonna want some soup. Also, I get sick a lot. So soup. Cups, because I was out. Goodness. Actual like toast bread. Sourdough, of course. Huh? Okay, it's this little microwave gluten-free three cheese rally ravioli. It looks so good. My half gallon of milk. I am a girl who will drink milk with like any meal, so I always keep milk. Turkey sandwich meat. Cheese. Toaster waffles, gluten free, of course. And the last thing, microwave bacon for my wraps. So many groceries. Okay. Also, I used to just have like a graveyard of plastic bags, and my sister yelled at me. So now I stuff them in this burn sack. That's how you know you're becoming an adult when you can't throw away paper bags. Like it, your brain won't let you. I changed into like my volleyball spandex and then just a sweatshirt. I actually was just running around in my bra, but then I went up to Lily's room to borrow her vacuum. So last thing I'm gonna do cleaning is vacuum. And I am like shaking because I'm so hungry because I was like, I'm gonna get everything done and then eat because it makes me get everything done faster. So we're gonna, we're gonna fix lunch after this. Okay. Got everything set out to make lunch. I have my tortilla, my turkey, my cheese, my mayo, and I'm heating up bacon. Got mayo spread out. Let's go one, two. Whoop, that is too close to the edge. Two, three. And then we have craft cheese. I 
got it. That's my Mimi hooked me up with some V8s. I'm getting some Fritos to go with it. Here's lunch. It's 3.30 and I practice at 4, so we have to get up and get ready. We're out of practice. <laughs> and the calf closes at 6.30 and it's 6.15, so we're gonna try to get food. This is not the move. I took three bites of it. I don't know why. My orange crush was pretty busted, now, but <laughs> this, a salad that's drenched in ranch and crush because they were out of Dr. Pepper. This is what Caroline tied for dinner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I'm real nasty. It's time for a shower. So instead of looking pasty, I y'all didn't know I was nail tech. <laughs> I'm doing Eliza's nails. We're doing this little blue color. Yeah. I did my laundry and accidentally locked myself out. Hopefully someone walked by after like 10 minutes. Then I, Rayleigh wasn't here and Caroline and Lily were in class and you were in class and I forgot there's someone else I called that they were in class too. Like everyone was in class. I was like, oh. We're crafting for my door. We do door decorating contests. So this is my Halloween door. We're making little tiny ghosts. Put on my door. Wait, cute. Eliza's been coloring them, but I'm helping now too. Wait, is it the slick side or the not slick side? Oh,
I want to make one look angry. Look at how the baby goes. Look at that one. And look at that one. And that one. And that one. And that one. I'm being forced to listen to country music right now. Okay. It's party. It's the best. It's country. We got Chick fil A. Party's like country rock though now. Wow. This one's hot. Okay. This new album. Remember I That's why it. I like, yeah, that's why I like Bailey Zimmerman. This just kind of sounds like rock. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got Mike Lennon in him, too. I'm mm, proud. I'm making my heart happy. Which one do you like? Fall in Love. That's my favorite. Have you heard This Is Where It Ends? I don't know. I don't think so. I like rock in a hard place. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I like Bailey Zimmerman. I know two songs by him. Yeah. Have you heard um, Religiously? <laughs> no. I literally know two songs by him. Okay. But I like them. Okay, this is great. I just look for my phone. <laughs> it's the video. I'm so silly. Brought you down to knees. Say the misery loves company. We're watching all our old TikTok reposts. Yeah, Mine are funny. Mine are funny, bro. Like, I was funny. I was kind of messy. I don't like that anymore.